There are two main ways in which we can measure the wavelength of light. The first one is to use a double slit, but sometimes the interference pattern isn't that bright and it's quite difficult to accurately measure the distance between fringes. An alternative is to use a diffraction grating. Now these often come on a slide. They often have the number of lines per millimetre. In this case, this one is 300 lines per millimetre. The one I'm actually going to do the experiment with today is 80 lines per millimetre. And we can then use the equation that says n lambda equals d sine theta. Now it's important to remember that d is not the number of lines per millimetre, but it's the distance in metres between the gratings. So for this, we're going to be using a laser light. I've got this one here, uh, which is ideal for use in schools. It's got a safety cap over the end. And then to actually turn on the laser, we just have a small key that goes in the back and then it keeps it turned on. We're going to be sending, in this case, red laser light through a diffraction grating. And then we can see on the screen a bright interference pattern. So I've got my laser over here. I've used a set square to make sure that it's going to be parallel to the edge of the desk. And then just in front of it, again, using the set square, I've put my diffraction grating. We can then measure the distance between the diffraction grating and a piece of paper on a screen just using a meter ruler. Now on the piece of paper over here on the wall, we've got our zeroth order, our first, second, third, and so on. And we need to know the distance between these bright spots in order to measure our angles of theta. Now the best way to do this, again, is to mark it on the piece of paper, if you've got that. And then it means that you can take it away and measure the distance using a meter ruler between them a lot more accurately. So now we've got some information. Um, I think it's always best to calculate the distance between first order and first order, and second and second and third and third. So we can measure that using a meter ruler, and this will give us a value to the nearest millimeter. Once we've got values for theta, we know the order of the bright spot, and also we know the diffraction grating spacing. We can use all of that to calculate the wavelength of light. And we can also just check if that's in agreement with what's published on the laser. There are a couple of advantages of using a diffraction grating over a double slit to measure the wavelength of light. First of all, a lot more light goes through the grating and that means we have much brighter spots on the screen. And secondly, those spots are much further apart, so there's going to be less uncertainty in the measured value for that distance. So there we go, that was the wavelength of light using a diffraction grating. And of course, if you'd like to find out more about this experiment, including extra videos, a full set of instructions with the theory and notes for teachers and technicians, do head over to alevelphysicsonline.com.